Welcome, Ian, and thank you for joining us. What have you been up to since the 90210 days? Oh my gosh, 90210 has been off the air for 16 years. I've uh, been up to a lot of different things. Most recently, uh, I've been involved with a TV film series called Sharknado. Maybe you've seen it. We're getting ready to air the fourth installment, Sharknado, The Fourth Awakens, July 31st on Sci-Fi. Um, that's been really exciting. Sharknado is the first three-syllable word my daughter Penna ever said as she spun around. It was so ridiculously adorable. Um, started a, a family lifestyle blog with my wife and kids called At Home with the Zeerings, where we share our favorite foods and crafts that my uh, amazing wife does uh, all the time with the kids and, you know, all our family adventures. And uh, I, obviously, I think my greatest accomplishment since 90210 are, are my kids, Mia and Penna. They're the light of my life right now. Everything's for them. Tell us what parenthood is like for you. What are some of the challenges you face as a dad? Dad is definitely one of the best roles I've ever played. And it presents itself with challenges at different stages of life. You know, just when you think like, okay, she's sitting up, you know, it's a, it's a milestone. Or when they say their first words, it's a milestone. Um, you know, right now we're dealing with one of the challenges is, uh, is bedwetting. Uh, something that happens to, to most of us, if not all of us. I know I certainly had uh, dalliance uh, with, uh, with that experience. Um, for me, it was a horrible experience, though. Um, there were no, you know, no diapers uh, for, for me. I, I was out of diapers at the time. I think it was like four or five. But I remember I'd wake up, you know, having wet the bed, and I would freak out. I would try to change the bed sheets so my, my mom and dad wouldn't know about it, or God forbid my older brothers would hear about it. I would be, you know, tormented to no end. Um, I, I don't want that same experience for my daughters. You know, I've started working with the people at Good Nights to help break that stigma of bedwetting, help parents regain the confidence that they need so they and their kids can rest easy at night. Um, my daughter Penna, at three years old, she puts her good nights on and sleeps comfortably without any recollection of wedding and wakes up in the morning and it's a complete non-issue. I used to wake up in the morning um, ashamed or embarrassed, but we found a manageable solution at this stage that completely takes any of that out of the equation. Um, it's a complete non-issue. If she goes and has a sleepover at one of her friends, um, we put her in the good night's pants. It's, again, creates a situation where it becomes a non-issue. She talks about it with her other friends because, you know, they're got all these beautiful designs on it, so she shares the pictures and, you know, then the kids end up wearing it too. The parents understand that this is one thing that they can do to, you know, stress less, you know, kids have to understand that it's natural. You should never make a big deal out about, uh, a big deal about it. Um, it's developmental, you know, and over time it eventually goes away. If it doesn't, you know, see a, a physician, it could be indicative of a larger problem. But for the most part, it's something that most of us, if not all of us, deal with. And that's what, you know, we're dealing with, uh, with right now. But we've, again, found a manageable solution, which has made it a non-issue. So my kid wakes up feeling confident rather than stressed out. Why is this issue so important to you? Well, you know what? Um, I think it's important to all parents. Conversations amongst parents don't typically uh, cover bedwetting. You know, it's, again, it's got the stigma about it. So, you know, um, out helping parents right now um, find a manageable solution for it at this particular stage. Um, it's something that, again, for me, it was a bigger issue. I mean, again, I was embarrassed, um, a bit ashamed, but these are things that my daughter doesn't deal with at all right now, which frees her, her headspace up to be more creative or confident or independent. 
which is so fantastic. She's using all her resources um, to do things that are helping her grow rather than feeling um, limited. Uh, and I think that's just so important. What advice do you have for other parents who might also be dealing with issues like bedwetting? Uh, what advice? Well, you have to let, uh, I'd like to let parents know that it's natural. You know, this is something that's developmental. In fact, one out of six kids ages four to 12 are dealing with bedwetting. It's okay. It's okay. It's going to happen and it's going to pass. So you know what? Just find a manageable solution. If you want to know more, uh, you could always go to the goodnights.com website and hear from the experts about it. Um, but for the most part, like Aaron and I have found a manageable solution, you, it's out there. You don't have to stress about it. What are some tools parents can use to help manage bedwetting and where can we learn more? Can you repeat that question? What are some tools parents can use to help manage bedwetting and where can we learn more? Well, you can learn more at goodnights.com. And, you know, one of the most use, useful things you can do is to nurture your children. Support them. Let them know you're there for them. And I, help them identify with it by sharing your story with them. Um, let them know that it's natural and not make a big deal about it. We talked about challenging parts of parenthood, but what are some of the most rewarding aspects? Some of the most rewarding aspects for me are when my daughters smile at me, when they come charging at me when I come home after being away for a little bit and write me little cards and notes, I love you, daddy, oh, I love you so much. Uh, it's just, it melts me. Um, I am so focused on, uh, my wife and children, it's, it's not the start of life, but it's definitely the best part of life for me. And that's all the questions we have for you today. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you. And interviewing. Have a great day.